look at Mickey Mouse here. Well, this is this week's Disney Movie Nostalgia Review. Well, my buddy Alan Horseman here was supposed to do Mel Melody Time this week, but he decided to switch it to this one because of Halloween. So, here he is. Here you go. Thank you, Mickey. As you can tell, this is the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. As Mickey mentioned, um, I was doing um, all the classic um, Walt Disney movies in, in from its release each year, but instead, I'm doing something different. I'm going to do it, um, do a, this one earlier, and Melanie Time will be moved to next week. So anyway, on to the review. All right, the adventures of Ichabod, Mr. Toad. Two of the classics of Winnie the Willows and the Sleepy Howl. Or actually, the Legend of Sleepy Howl. So, pretty much they have like two big um, stories about like Mr. Toad has to go through Winnie the Willows um, doing silly things and then he got in big trouble later. And his friends tried their best or not only to help him, but help him to get that mansion back too by those weasels. So, that one, I love that story. I really do. I thought the characters were really, really impressive. Especially when they got, like, like Badger, Rat, and um, Mole, and also Mr. Toe himself. Oh, my goodness. Well, it was like, hey, you know what? Here's another good Will and the, uh, Will and the Will's version. Um, that would be the Wreck and Bass one, which I like that one, too. But, you know what? Either of those versions, they're excellent. And this one is one of my favorites in this one. So, so me, I like that one. Now off to Ichabod. Well, we see Ichabod is going to sleep at Howl, um, be a teacher. But he was like a womanizer kind of guy and trying to get um, get any lady from there. And um, I do like the, the characters in this one. Also, I like this, the story of how they're going to meet with the Headless Horseman at the end. And also, um, God, Bing Crosby seeing it, it's, oh man, the jazz thing, oh, I love it. How I love the, these two stories together and bind them together. Now, just letting you know, this one's not a theatrical release. This one is just only, um, like a package film to save money, especially the hard times in the 1940s. So anyway, um, if you like a spooky story for Halloween, um, even though it might be kind of spooky for little kids, but if they're big kids, Eh, this one is more fun to do. So, I recommend this one. And hopefully I'll get the Blu-ray version of it later on. So, for both for both of them, and great movies uh, together, I get a 5 plus. Oh, well, I'm done. Okay, Mickey. All right. Thank you. Well, that's it for the video. If you like this and more, go on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah, magical night. I mean, spooky night.